welcome back to my channel. So this week a viewer went ahead and submitted a great topic for this week to discuss. And that topic is selecting a disability that we're least comfortable with and then um, talking about our experiences with them. So one of the people that I'm um, least comfortable with that I have worked around is schizophrenic patients. And these patients are um, I was uncomfortable with it at the time because these patients will flip on a dime and they'll be fine one minute, very um, constructive and wanting to do everything you want to do. And then the next minute, they're wanting to um, they're wanting to do something else. They're maybe a little hostile, um, argumentative, and things like that. So this is an important topic to discuss in the healthcare field because we're going to run into these patients working with them in our daily practice and we need to be comfortable working with them or um, or at least like maneuvering with them because we're going to we, we can't always refer them to another um, physical therapist because sometimes there's not going to be another physical therapist and so while you may not be the most comfortable with them you need to know how to kind of um, maneuver and like redirect in ways and this is one thing that I didn't really understand until this week's I read a um, article that was saying like with these patients we need to go ahead and redirect them um, redirect them to do something else agree with them say that you understand with them and not really um, not really um, trying to get them to do one thing and then pawn them off on the nurses. So um, a couple things that I, I read that worked was having a closed off space, maybe some soft music, and not really say like if they're saying there's somebody in the wall, not saying like no there's not somebody in the wall because it's argumentative and then that's going to raise how they're feeling and they're going to respond to it. So this was something that I wish I would have known prior because working with this patient what what I did personally was it whenever they became combative and argumentative I would put them back to bed and then even if they didn't like really want to be back in bed or I would just get them back in their room put them in their wheelchair wheel them down in their room and it this wasn't the best thing that I felt working hindsight 2020 I would have brought them into, kept them in the closed space, brought what we needed to complete therapy for the day into their room, and then work with them one on one. Maybe have some soft music playing. And this discussion that um, my viewers went ahead and submitted was kind of like a two part thing. And the second part to the um, to the discussion post was with this patient. Um, uh, sexuality is a critical component to quality of life and um, individuals with disabilities how will this affect their sex life so talking with them about their sex life for me this isn't awkward for um, per se because awkward is for the person in the mind it's a state of mind I feel and I can talk about anything with a patient and it not be awkward because I don't make things awkward with um with patients because I'm just not an awkward person and um a couple of my um a couple of my viewers also felt the same way that we are a professional in a profession and sometimes these have to be um, talked about and some of the things that they do is they have uh, questionnaires that the patient fills out or somebody fills out for the patient and there's a little checkbox inside the um, questionnaire that says does this affect your sex life and I feel like this is a great way to open up the conversation because they're gonna check yes whether we ask about it or not it's already been presented and they can present it to us and as professionals, we have to keep in mind that um, that this is this is affecting them, and we need to help them in some way. 